Hello everyone, this is Andy, and today I will tell you how to fix common issues in Google Meet. Let's get started. There are different reasons why Google Meet may not work. Let's go through them one by one. The first reason may be related to simply joining the meeting. This may be due to an incorrect meeting link or an incorrect ID. Double check the link provided to you, as a simple typo can prevent you from joining. Check your internet connection. A weak or unstable connection can cause issues with maintaining the connection during a video call. There may also be problems with browser compatibility. Using an outdated browser or a browser that is incompatible with Google Meet can cause malfunctions and lead to connection issues. Security software restrictions can also interfere with the connection. Firewalls or antivirus software may block access to Google Meet. You may also receive a message indicating that the room is full. If the meeting has reached the maximum number of participants, you may be denied access. Access may also be hindered by login issues. Make sure you are logged into the correct account associated with the meeting invitation. The next issue may be access permissions for devices. Google Meet requires two main permissions to function properly, access to the camera and the microphone. When first joining a Google Meet meeting, Google Chrome usually asks for permission to access the microphone and camera. All you need to do is grant that access. You can also manage these permissions in your device settings if you previously blocked access or want to change them. To do this, you need to click the button next to the address bar and here you will be able to manage the permissions granted to the Google Meet site. There may also be an issue where conference participants are unable to share their screen. There are several reasons for this. The first one is the host's permission. By default, only the creator of the meeting can share their screen, and the host may need to explicitly grant presentation permission to other participants. To do this, you need to click here and enable this setting. Next, it is also necessary to check that participants can share their screens. After this, all participants will be able to grant access to their screens. Presentation issues can also be caused by technical malfunctions. One of these may also include browser compatibility issues. Just like with joining, outdated browsers may not support screen sharing features. Another reason could be certain Google Chrome extensions that may block access to screen sharing. There may also be software conflicts. Applications running in the background can interfere with screen sharing. The next reason is a malfunction of the camera or microphone. If the camera or microphone is not working in Google Meet, it can significantly ruin your meeting. There can be several reasons for such a failure. First of all, it could be a simple hardware issue. The camera or microphone may not be connected properly, or the problem could be with the device itself. Sometimes things can be a bit more complicated. For example, if your browser is not updated to the latest version. And of course, there is always the possibility that the cause could be the device settings or the permissions and access to those devices. The next reason is the poor quality of video and audio in Google Meet. Several factors can affect this. The first of these is limited bandwidth. Weak or poor quality internet access can be the culprit. Sufficient bandwidth is required to stream video data. And if it is insufficient, it can lead to pixelation low video or audio quality. Additionally, older devices with lower processing power may struggle to meet the demands of high quality calls. This can result in blurry video and unclear sound. Sometimes filters and backgrounds in Google Meet can help improve the situation, but often this can lead to delays in audio or video. If you have several applications running on your computer in addition to Google Meet or are performing resource-intensive tasks, this can overload the system and lead to a decrease in audio or video quality. Using an outdated browser or the Google Meet application can also lead to compatibility issues, which will affect the quality of audio and video. One of the problems is also adding an event to the calendar. There are several reasons why this may happen. One of them could be a malfunction of the Google Meet application or the calendar. Usually, a simple restart can solve this problem. Another issue may be related to your internet connection. If it is unstable or slow, it may interfere with the proper synchronization of the event with the calendar. If nothing works, add the event details to the calendar manually. This will be the best solution until the problem is resolved. You may also encounter an issue with accessing the drop-down menu. First, make sure that your browser is updated to the latest version, as outdated browsers can cause issues with the functionality of the website. If the browser is updated but the problem persists, try clearing your cache and cookies, as they can affect the performance and loading of websites. Additionally, Check if you have any plugins or extensions installed that may interfere with Google Meet. Temporarily disabling them can help determine if they are the source of the problem. And finally, if none of the solutions have helped you, try running Google Meet on a different browser or device to see if the problem persists. If you have ever had trouble taking notes during meetings, then pay attention to Blue Dot. This is an extension for Google Meet that works with artificial intelligence without the use of third-party bots. All you need to start recording is to click on the extension and then click the record button. In just a few moments, the recording will begin and Blue Dot will analyze your meeting in the background. After the meeting, you will be able to review it almost immediately. Additionally, Blue Dot will automatically transcribe your meeting. In addition, 
It will generate an AI summary with key points, which you can click on to quickly return to the video and view the relevant part. Thus, you will no longer have to write notes by hand. I hope this video was helpful to you. Goodbye, everyone.